Hi, this presentation talks about air pollution. We learn about what is pollution, the pollutants and its types, what is air pollution and its history, the evolution of the melanized moth, types of air pollutants, the fate of the pollutants, its impacts and the control measures. So what is pollution? It is defined as the undesirable changes in our surroundings that have harmful effects on plants, animals and human beings. It basically occurs due to short-term economic gains at the cost of long-term ecological impacts. Pollutants, the causative agents of pollution, are the substances that gets introduced into the natural environment beyond permissible limits that causes harm to its inhabitants. Pollutants can be divided into three main types. They are degradable or non-persistent pollutants. The second one is slowly degradable or persistent pollutants. And finally, the non-degradable pollutants. The degradable or the non-persistent pollutants are those that are rapidly broken down by natural processes like your domestic sewage, discarded fruit and vegetable peels, volatile organic compounds of VOCs and particulate matter. The second one that is your sol slowly degradable or persistent pollutants are the ones that remain in the environment for many years in an unchanged condition like your DDT, plastics, CFCs, etc. And finally, the non-degradable pollutants are those that cannot be degraded by any natural process and tend to accumulate in the environment. Examples are your heavy metals like mercury, lead, etc. Now let us look at the history of air pollution. The air pollution started from the time human beings started using firewood, but it was mainly recognized as a problem in London around 700 years ago. The most breakthrough event in the air pollution was the London smog of 1952, where more than 4,000 deaths occurred due to the accumulation of pollutants over the city of London for over five days. Various examples like the success of the black peppered moths over the white moths in the industrialized areas, which were well camouflaged by the lichens on tree barks was a wake up call for the pollution impact due to the industrial revolution. Another often cited example is that of the Los Angeles smog of 1943 due to the combustion of diesel and petrol engines. The Great Smog of London A wake-up call for the pollution impacts Bernard Kettleville was the first to investigate the evolutionary mechanism behind the peppered moth adaptation between the years 1953 and 56. He found that a light colored body was an effective camouflage in a clean environment, while the dark color was beneficial in a polluted environment. This selective survival was due to birds, which easily caught the dark moths on clean trees and white moths on trees darkened with soot. The story, supported by Kettlewell's experiment, became the canonical example of Darwinian evolution and evidence for natural selection in a polluted environment. One of the most groundbreaking pollution awareness examples in India is the Bhopal gas tragedy, where extremely poisonous methyl isocyanate gas accidentally leaked from the Union Carbide's pesticide manufacturing plant in Bhopal in 1984. The impacts and effects on soil, animals and human health is felt even till this day. Air pollution occurs due to the presence of undesirable solid, liquid or gaseous particles in the air in quantities that are harmful to human health and the environment. Pollutants can be of two types, that is primary pollutants and secondary pollutants. The primary air pollutants are those that are emitted directly from the identifiable sources and produced by both natural events and human activities, whereas secondary pollutants are those that are produced when certain chemical reactions take place among the primary pollutants, example acid rain. Primary pollutant carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless, toxic gas that is produced on the incomplete combustion of organic materials like from your vehicular exhaust. 
oxides of nitrogen or NOx are produced in vehicular exhausts and also are involved in secondary pollutant ozone formation. Oxides of sulfur or SOx are produced on combustion of sulfur-containing fuels like coal. VOCs or volatile organic compounds are the compounds containing hydrogen and carbon atoms. It evaporates very easily from your fuels. PM or particulate matter are small pieces of solid emanating from smokes, fires, asbestos, dust, ash, etc. and are dispersed very easily in the atmosphere and remain suspended. And finally, lead that is emitted from leaded petrol, paints containing leads and they are highly toxic. Now let us see what is the fate of air pollutants once it is released into the atmosphere. Firstly, the pollutant enters into the atmosphere it gets transported downwind, it is diluted by the large volume of air and finally it is transformed through physical, chemical changes or removed from air by rain. The conditions affecting air pollutants are the topography of the area and the meteorological conditions like wind speed, direction, weather conditions, etc. Air pollutants can cause various health issues like lung cancers, asthma, bronchitis, emphysema, etc. Carbon monoxide particularly can cause dizziness, nausea, drowsiness, headaches, blurred vision, acid rain and acidic fumes can damage marble structures, trees, metals, can peel off car paints, destroy statues, etc. Now how to control air pollution? Installation of scrubbers, filters, electrostatic precipitators in the chimneys of industries and factories can help combat the pollutants. Control measures like using CNG, ethanol or hydrogen as clean fuels, banning of old vehicles, banning leaded petrol and introduction of emission standards like the Euro 6 and the Bharat State 6 undertaking regular air quality monitoring that is done by CPCB in India and the EPA in USA, various pollution control acts like the Air Prevention Control of Pollution Act of 1981 in India is being used to monitor the air quality.